Bayer is the Research Center for Artificial Intelligence here at UC Berkeley. The mission of Bayer is to continue pushing um, the forefront of artificial intelligence research as it uh, brings uh, practical robots and uh, agents that can perceive and interact through dialogue. We're trying to use, uh, in our group, deep learning techniques to try to um, advance the accuracy and performance of applications of machine learning and deep learning, especially at scale. There's somewhat of a linear connection between how much compute power one has and how many experiments one can run, and how, how many experiments one can run it determines how much knowledge you acquire or discover. So it's interesting for us to look at um, devices like the DGX1, which has a much larger uh, memory, a much larger fully accessible memory, going uh, two, three orders of magnitude beyond what we use now for train in terms of training data, and perhaps two orders of magnitude bigger in terms of the models themselves. BDD is a new center we've just launched in the last year at the intersection of advanced machine learning and autonomous driving. I think autonomous driving, as everyone has identified, is going to be a significant improvement to um, all aspects of, of our life. If we can reduce the um, tragic injuries and deaths on the highways, um, which I believe both autonomous driving will um, uh, achieve and semi-autonomous driving. So one thing we're interested in exploring is basically optimizing using distinct copies of machine learning models one on each processor. Uh, instead of the traditional approach, which is to have all of the different boxes um, processing basically the same view of, of the model. Um, the advantage of, of having different views is that it allows you, using the parallelism in the system, to actually explore different parts of the parameter space, explore different models. GPUs are um, one of the exciting uh, contemporary uh, advances, and we're able to now do things with GPU-based um, compute infrastructures that I wouldn't have imagined being able to do when I was a graduate student or even 10 years ago.